Remember that God is still always with you. My name is Cassandra, and for today's morning Monday manna, I will be talking to you guys about Elisha and his story. And so Elijah, he was a prophet who has done many miraculous, amazing things with the help of God. And it did not seem that anything would break him because of how close his relationship with God was like. However, when it came to the problems of the Baal worshippers, King Jezebel, King Ahab, how they had hated Elijah because he had killed the Baal, the prophets of Baal, Elijah was afraid. He was so afraid that he ran away from the problem. So I have to ask, how many of us have those days where everything is going great as God is helping us and blessing us, but once trouble comes, we are so quick to hide? Why is it that when we see how much God has done many good things in our life, that we are so quick to be afraid when trouble arises? In Elijah's story, God acknowledges that from him. So we are would read in 1 Kings 19, starting with verse 9, where it says, There he went into a cave and spent the night. And the word of the Lord came to him, What are you doing here, Elisha? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to death with the sword. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. The Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is going to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his head and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Then a voice said to him, what are you doing here, Elisha? You see, God is trying to talk to us, talk to us in a way where he doesn't add any other problems to freak us out more, but in a way where we are in a stable calm, a state of calm. So we see that God, he was not in the harsh winds. He wasn't in the terrifying earthquake, and he definitely wasn't in that hot fire. God didn't want to add onto our terrified state for us to hear him, but he came to us as a shepherd is with a lamb, his gentle whisper acting as a comforting hand. So as we reread uh, in verse 13, then a voice said to him, what are you doing here, Elisha? And we can rephrase that and put our own names in there. What are you doing here, Cassandra? Or what are you doing here, John? What are you doing here, Susie? What are we doing here? Why are we hiding? That's what God is asking us. Time and time again, he shows us many blessings, but we still hide. After Elijah had answered God in verse 15 of chapter 19, it says, The Lord said to him, Go back the way you came. Meaning, go to the source where you were so afraid, so then God is able to be there with you. Go back where I am able to be there for you and remind you that you are not alone. So go back to when you receive that terrible news or financial crisis and allow God to walk you through it. We see that in Psalm 23 verse 4, it says, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Amen.